Here we are. Now it's surreal being back here again, getting ready to close out yet another review of this, this fucking thing. I, I, you know, it's just such a fucking. It, it's so hard. It's so easy to explain, yet so hard to explain. Because like the reason I did this wasn't just that I was unhappy with the previous reviews, I was, um, but the other thing that really bothers me, like, I, 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 usually I give no fucks about this sort of thing, but, but honestly, I, I do try to respect other people's point of views on things, even when they're wrong, uh, but this is one of those times where, wh no, N no, 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 like any other game, no! Just... How? Someone... Ex let me count the... W I've been counting the ways! Uh, I mean, I, I don't... I don't get it. And I thought maybe... I guess my thinking was if I actually went into really great detail and spelled out exactly why everything is wrong with the game, maybe more people would listen. But looking back, that's probably not going to happen. But at the very least, you all enjoy my suffering. So there's always that. Yeah, sure, you say that now, but you're gonna re-review it again in like a year anyway. Shut the hell up! So, let's just get right into this, because we're on the home stretch. It can't possibly get any worse from here anyway, right? So, the last story starts out with Nephilus standing there all creepy, and really, this fucker... I'm gonna get to him, alright? I haven't... I haven't gone into detail why this guy drives me nuts, because a lot of people were like, Oh, Mephilus is so cool. He's the only good character from the game. Which is horseshit. But we're not going to get into that just yet. And then we see, you know, Sonic and the Lee's walk in the field, and they see fucking shiny emeralds. They look at it, and Mephilus shows up, and... <laughs> You just literally killed him. You know, you know, it's all, it's all bad enough that you, you disrespected your mascot this entire time. You know, by giving him only one unique boss fight and making his gameplay arguably the most boring out of all of them. But, but now you straight up fucking kill him. Like a bitch. Without even putting up a goddamn fight. You. You. Sega. You can kiss my ass, because, no, no, you don't do that, you don't do that, Jesus, so, so then, you know, even though she never cried when her own father died, she's gonna cry over this motherfucker, who she's only known for like, what, two days, if that, and, 
it, 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 you know, the whole thing was make her cry, so she released the flames of disaster, and now Mephilus is going to use all seven Chaos Emeralds. Wait, what? All seven Chaos Emeralds to fuse with Iblis to become Solaris. I, I, let's take a step back for a second. Because now we're going to get into Mephilus, and I really need to talk about this. But for one, before we before before we really go into that, I want to I want to point out that he has all seven Chaos Emeralds here, which is motherfucking impossible. He can't have them. He can't. For one, when did he go get them? For two, how does he have them? Because let's think back. It's not just the blue emerald that's an issue here. We already talked about the blue emerald, which caused the entire space tide continuum to explode. But there's also another one. There's the silver emerald. Which isn't technically trapped in a time loop, I suppose. But it is removed from the timeline. Because think about it. Silver got the silver emerald. <laughs> I see what you did there. When he went back to, and he got it from the king. And, and the king gave it to him and then Silver took it with him all the way into the future. And as far as we know, Silver still has it there. So, it's not in the current timeline right now. It's far in the far distant future because it, it disappeared. So, so that means we're down to five emeralds that are in total. Oh, God, this is dumb. The point is, without even trying to figure out where all the other emeralds are, there's no way he could have all seven. It's not possible. And you might be saying, well, he has OP time travel powers, and, you know, he could, he could, you know, fucking have all seven then, and, okay, sure, but th th let's talk about, let's talk about Mephilus' big plan here, alright? Mephilus' big plan is to release Iblis by making Elise cry so he could merge with Iblis and become Solaris again. Okay, fine. But why does he have to release Iblis at all? For one, the start of his plan was to get Silver and Blaze evolved and have them kill Sonic so they'd make Elise cry. But if it's so easy for Mephilus to just do it himself, because he does it right here, without even so much as a fragrant hint of resistance from Sonic, then, then why did he have to get Silver and Blaze to do his dirty work to begin with? What was the point? What was the reason to get them involved? If anything, getting someone as incompetent and fucking stupid as Silver involved would only hinder his plan more and risk that it would fall apart, you know, like it actually did because Silver realized the truth? Now how about that? Or, or how about the fact that, you know, why does he need to release Iblis at all? Because, as we can clearly see from the future, you know, Silver's future, where Mephilus talked to Silver at, Iblis is already free. He's right here! So, someone explain to me why Mephilus has to go back in time and release him to merge with him if he's already released in the future. And if you might, if you, if you want to bring up the argument that, hey, well, 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 what, what about, what about the fact that, you know, maybe he can only merge with Iblis, you know, before Iblis takes form. And okay, fine, but how about the fact that he can go through time to any point, at any time, anywhere, as far as we can tell. The dude's basically omnipotent. Why doesn't he just go back to whenever the flames were actually released? Why go through all this trouble if you can just do that? I, I, I fail to see you know, why Mephilus is such a, a, a competent and, and, you know, you know, awesome villain when, when he, when, 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 when he, he, he only takes steps to make his plan far harder than it actually is. Really? And, and, and I don't even get why he wants to merge with Iblis again to become Solaris and then, what, what, break down the space-time continuum? What for? Because that's what Solaris is doing. The entire fabric of space-time is bre breaking the fuck apart. You know, the uh, every time, everywhere is dissolving. I, I don't understand why he's doing it. If he's the god of time and the sun, wouldn't his job be to keep that shit from doing the exact thing it's doing right now? So, Sonic is dead, and all of a sudden, all of Sonic's friends, including Eggman, are in the same fucking spot. Just conveniently, because of all the places they could have been hurled all across the corrupted space-time. Oh, they all showed up at the exact same fucking spot because of the superpower of teamwork or some crazy shit like that. I don't know, even Silver's here. He's not even in the same time period as them right now, but he's there because 
Because plot convenience, I don't fucking know. He must be here to save the future! For the future. So Eggman goes on this tangent about how Mephilus played them all for fools and all he wanted to do was make Elise cry. And I've already explained how that how his entire plan was fucking stupid. Go figure why Eggman can't figure out why that was dumb. But anyway, Sonic is dead and you know, everything's pretty bleak because, you know, time is falling apart and everything's going to disappear and they're all going to die because they're faced with the power of a wrathful god. And, you know, it's all very bleak. But then Silver is like, WAIT! I am here to save the future! And he's like, Elise can use her power if we gather the emeralds and, and wish hard enough or some crazy shit like that, For the we can future. bring Sonic back and save the day. And, 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 does any, so people, like, believe this motherfucker? You know, Shadow is, like, the first one on, on this tangent with Silver, like, oh, wait, we can totally do this, you know, if we bring Sonic back. But Shadow's the one who is blatantly see how unbelievably incompetent Silver is. He kicked him in the back of the skull. So, pray tell, why does he all of a sudden think Silver's plan is legit? It's dumb. Since when can the Emeralds br bring someone back to life? That, that has never been one of their powers. But all of a sudden, oh, they can do that, because... Cause, Cause Chaos Emeralds, I don't fucking know. But now we're gonna get into the final act. The final level of this game where you play as all the characters so far, except Blaze, cause fuck you. And, 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 and it's just more rehashed fucking levels. <laughs> Again, really, you know, you couldn't do something unique. I mean, we're talking about the, the fabric of space-time collapsing. The, the Emeralds could have been hurled any which way. If Solaris didn't keep them, why he didn't es escapes me. But, but, but they're just conveniently in levels they've already been to. Because, because, rehashed. I don't fucking know. The only big difference between these levels and the ones you've already played is, one, you're normally playing with a different character that you, you wouldn't have normally played with in, in these levels, like Tales of the Crisis City, for example. But also, there's these weird space-time rifts that, that, that suck you in, and if you touch them, you die. It doesn't matter how many rings you have, you fucking die. Which is bullshit. Because these things are, are the most mind-numbingly annoying things in the world. And that's the only reason why this final level is, is, is difficult. Because because if you touch these things, you're dead. And, and they're placed in the worst possible spots just to screw you. And even with these things, playing as most of the characters is fairly easy. With the sole exception of both Silver and Shadow. Go figure, right? Silver's difficult because he is by far the, the slowest character by a fucking long shot. For the future. And it just takes forever to get anywhere. And normally you can press these eagle statues to stop the space-time rifts from happening because that they, they, they're just here. Just let it go. I don't fucking know. But, 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 they're, they're, they're so far apart on Silver's level that, that it makes them so difficult. It doesn't help that Silver's camera screws with you and you fall into the deadly sand one last time. Thanks for that game. Love you too. And Shadow's level is difficult because they're placed in the most awkward fucking spots just to screw you. And of course they suck you in, like I said, which makes this whole thing way more difficult than it has to be. And again, touch them once you die. It's bullshit. But eventually you'll get through it because, you know... Why not? And and then th and then they they, they 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 have the emeralds and they they use them t to bring Sonic back somehow because that's a thing. I I, I don't know how, even how this makes any logical sense. And then Elise, no, 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 no. Why? 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 Why you gotta do that? Why? 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 So after that disturbing moment, Sonic is supersonic and and back again, and then he uses his superpowers to make the Shadow and Silver super because they can do that too. I, I guess I I don't know, but hey, someone explain something to me. How is Sonic super? How? He needs rings to do that. You might say, oh, he must have rings. He can't, because Mephilus killed him. 
Sonic can only die when he doesn't have rings. So, why is he super if he doesn't have rings? How is he super? How is he super? How is he super? So, here's the final battle with Solaris. And I fucking hate Solaris as a villain. Because, one, he, it, it's dumb. It, for two, it's dumb because I don't get his motivations. There's no motivation for what Solaris is doing. There's no purpose behind his being. He doesn't even talk. Mephilus wouldn't shut up. So pray tell, why doesn't Solaris speak ever? Mephilus is clearly the intellectual side of Solaris, so why doesn't he talk? Why doesn't he explain why he's doing what he's doing? You might say, oh, he must be pissed about that, you know, hardcore secret super, you know, lab thing they did in the past. And, okay, fine, but, but, you know, is that really a reason to break down the entire fabric of space-time? I don't get it. I don't get it. And it's really hard for me to find a, a villain convincing or awestruck with it if I don't even know why it's doing what it's doing. So, you fight Solaris, and admittedly, this is probably the best boss fight in the game, not that that's saying much. But, it's, it's only because there's actually some level of strategic playing here, because Solaris has two parts. One introduces you to the mechanics, and the second part is actually you taking advantage of them. Because the idea is that you can switch between Sonic, Shadow, and Silver at any time. And each one attacks in a different manner, and Solaris actually blocks certain attacks at different points in time. And you have to figure out which attacks he's vulnerable to. Now, Sonic rams into him, Shadow shoots Chaos Spears, and Silver just throws shit because that's all the motherfucker's good for. And, you know, I, I have to say, this is arguably a little bit interesting, especially in the second form, when it seems completely random in terms of the order you're supposed to attack him with. You just have to figure out which one he's vulnerable to. It keeps you switching, it keeps you on your toes, trying to figure out what, you know, what, what he's weak against at any given moment. My problem with this is that there's never a clear indication of what he's weak against. It's just guesswork. And the first form, I think, has a set order. W whenever I did it, it was, it was Silver, Shadow, Sonic. I've now, I, I don't know whether it changes or not, but for his final form, it seemed complete fucking random. I also have a serious problem with, with how the powers work. See, Shadow can shoot a bunch of little Chaos Spears, but those never seem to do anything. Sonic, if he doesn't charge up his charge the whole way, doesn't do shit, so you have to make sure you do it. Why they let you even charge without charging fully is beyond me. And then Silver is the most broken one of all. Not broken in the good way, by the way, because the motherfucker has to throw back rocks that Solaris throws at him. Because, again, all he's good for. And if you throw at the wrong time, which is normally all the time, the rocks you throw will hit the rocks that are coming back at you, and you won't get a hit on Solaris. So you have to kind of move while you throw them. It's so weird. For the also, um, you, when you get hit, you lose rings. Which is bullshit, because you've never lost rings in super forms before. You don't lose rings when you get hit in this, as a super form. That has been a staple in the Sonic series. You are invincible when you're super, so why the hell do you lose rings when you get hit? I understand losing rings over time, because that's always been the case, but not when you get hit. They probably did it to make the boss fight a little more challenging, because since there's three characters to switch between, well, there's more rings to use, so you almost never have to worry about running out of rings unless, of course, you take a hit. So I guess that was their thought, but way to fuck the game mythos yet again. Not that they've given a shit up until this point, so I'm not sure why I'm fucking surprised. And you beat Solaris, and then that's the end. That's... 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 That's the end. It's... Over. Look at this. This is Solaris. The flame of hope. It's so beautiful. When the flame has grown large enough, our world will change. Solaris will allow us to control time and move through history. People will be able to rectify past mistakes and avoid bitter fate. Will we be able to see Mama? Yes, Elise. We'll both be able to see your mother once again.
This is where everything began. Who knew such a tiny flame could bring such devastation? Smokey the Bear knew you, moron! Really? This ending just pisses me off. You know, I'm sorry, did I, did I make you think that I wasn't done yet? Okay, I, I do need to talk about the ending. In the ending, they blow out Solaris' flame, so Solaris can never come to being, so there's never any Mephilus or Iblis or anything like that. But it makes us that the game never happened. Let's just love plots like that. None of these plot holes that I've counted, none of them really matter because none of it ever occurred. You know what? And people say, well, then it doesn't matter. But but th but they had to have happened at some point in some timeline. They did happen when Solaris' flame wasn't blown out. So they still don't make any sense because it, it does happen in some timeline, you know, because there's multiple timelines, I guess, now. Whatever. The point is that even if they don't happen anymore, the fact that they happen at some point means that they're bullshit. And, and just this game's entire storyline... It's like they knew it was dumb, so at the end they're like, well, none of it ever happened, so it doesn't matter. You know what? It does fucking matter. Because fuck you, alright? You can't fucking do that. Jesus. This story, it just pisses me off, you know? It's just dumb. I mean, I guess it could have been good had it been written better, but, I mean... I, I'm almost willing to say, you know, it's the worst story in a Sonic game I've ever played. You know, but actually, that's not true, now that I think about it. Oh, but darkness, don't you want to review the game with the worst plot in the Sonic Universe ever? What are you talking about? <laughs> nope, already reviewed that one.